It's it's not really a cookie cutter play. It, it's it doesn't sell anybody short. I think it's beautiful because it just gives you life. It doesn't give you any more or any less. It just gives you life. But the fact that there is enough in there, there is enough in there to make it a wonderful thing to watch. One of the things I love about the play is that each of the scenes are so clear and so kind of strong. You know, they're almost like a little play, each one of them. There's not a scene that's like a sort of smaller scene that exists just to give you some information or anything like that. It's just a really contained world, each scene. There's a scene where um, one of the characters turns 100, which is my favourite. He uh, is trying to blow up his own balloons, which at age 100 is a bit of a challenge. And it's quite a nice image, the contrast of uh, the, it's almost like kind of kids' party uh, paraphernalia and the kind of uh, more industrial type materials of the farm. I think that's, a, yeah, I like that. And watching this hundred year old trying to blow up his balloons is a really lovely moment. There's something I really love about a scene just before the interval, which is uh, set in the Second World War. It's called The Nazi because it begins with one of the people on the farm having an affair with somebody who is a prisoner of war from the, from the Second World War. And I think I love the scene because it starts in a very romantic and kind of funny way. Uh, and then by the end of the scene, something really tragic has happened. And it kind of amazes you that this happened in one scene, you know? And it doesn't feel like it's um, too quick or unbelievable. It's totally believable that you could go from such extremes in the course of one 15-minute scene. I love the last scene. I love the final scene. Uh, when I read it, I was really sort of knocked backwards by it. I didn't see sort of anything like that coming along the way um, and I think it's realized really beautifully and the actors are really astonishing actually how they move throughout the piece and uh, that sort of that whole final scene is so surprising and so sort of rewarding in a funny sort of way and although some very powerful strong things happen in that scene you're sort of filled somehow at the end of it with a real warmth so it's really multi-layered um, experience for the audience, I think. And that's what I think this play, that's what I genuinely hope this play will do, is knock people for six.